Many gardeners are relying on nature to nurture their gardens. They're choosing compost-based soil mixes over chemically fertilized mixes. Compost is decomposed organic matter. Not only is it environmentally friendly, it's chock full of nutrients and useful microorganisms. Composting is the ecological alternative to burning or burying organic waste. It all starts at this composting factory with manure from farms, biodegradable solid waste from paper mills, and grass clippings and leaves from municipalities. Some materials arrive in bulk, others in plastic garbage bags. Workers carefully inspect the leaves and grass clippings, removing any non-biodegradable objects that got into the bags. Things like pieces of plastic, rubber or metal, shards of glass or even stones. After combining all the waste ingredients, they add bulking materials such as wood chips and bark. Then they stack the mixture in outdoor piles to decompose. The mix's makeup is by no means random. It's scientifically designed to create an ideal environment for live microorganisms. Billions of bacteria and fungi grow and reproduce, feeding on the nitrogen and carbon that are naturally present in the organic matter. They slowly and gradually transform the waste into compost, which, when ready, will look like rich black earth. All this microbiological activity heats the waste piles to a steaming 65 degrees Celsius, even in the dead of winter. The factory turns the piles monthly to aerate them. This stimulates decay and ensures it occurs evenly throughout the pile. The active breakdown phase takes six to 10 months. A curing phase follows, an additional six to eight months, at the end of which the compost stabilizes. Because the outdoor piles are exposed to precipitation, high concentrations of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium leach into the runoff water. Drainage ditches collect and carry this water to holding ponds. From there it goes through a treatment system consisting mainly of aeration and settling ponds. As we see in this demonstration, they aerate the water and add certain chemical compounds. The pollutants bond and settle at the surface to be skimmed off. The treated water has to meet strict government regulations before it's released to the environment. Back to the compost now. Once the curing phase is over, the compost goes through a screening process which removes any lumps or foreign objects, such as pebbles or partially decomposed wood chips. The finished compost comes out silky smooth. Before the compost is sent to market, it undergoes strict quality control testing. The factory's laboratory conducts detailed chemical analyses to ensure the compost is at precisely the right level of maturity and that it contains the correct balance of nutrients and stabilized organic matter. Then, a series of growth chamber tests. To ensure the product performs well, the lab germinates seeds and grows test plants in compost-based mixes. Once the quality control department gives the green light, the compost can be shipped out, either in bulk or packaged in bags. Compost is sold as is or added to soil mixes. It improves the soil structure and actively retains moisture and fertilizers. Compost is a chemical-free way to nourish plants and stimulate their defense systems. This gives them extra strength to grow fast and stay healthy.